This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So in this video I am going to do the same thing that I did in the last video, times two. The water bump that I built in the previous video performed extremely well. That's why I had the brilliant idea to double it. Basically I took the old model and mirrored everything next to it and combined them together. I don't know even how to call it. Dual impeller water bump with one outlet, two inlets, one outlet, whatever. Anyway, when I finish the design with 30 minutes, it's time to start printing. Pump housing and lead I printed with my Chiridex iFast and for material I use PLA. For the lead, there were some supports required. Even if my printing direction looked weird, it had a really simple reason. The side where I have to use supports will be uglier and have a lot of imperfections. It cannot happen inside the water pump. That's why I use a bit more support materials and turn this inside of the lead facing up. After removing supports, the outside of the lead looked pretty ugly for sure, but this doesn't affect the performance even a little bit. Impellers I printed with my Creality Ender 3 S1 Pro. This is my newest printer and I am absolutely in love with it. By the way, those impellers are different models. One is also mirrored for the original. So yeah, be noted if you plan to print and put this water bomb by yourself. For those impellers, also some supports were required. But removing those was way easier, even satisfying I can say. I believe I don't have nothing to add about 3D printing, so it's time to start building. So here is all 3D printed stuff we need, except gears, I uh, forgot those, but we speak about those later. And here is all not 3D printed things that we also need for this build. First I press fitted the shaft seals and bearings into the designed holes. Then I attach those rigid flange coupling to the backside of the impeller with M4 bolts. Then it was time to connect the shafts and then I press them through everything. It's really important that the right impeller goes to the right side, otherwise this pump will not work. Now when both of those impellers are nicely in place, I added the lead and I secured this to the place with M4 bolts. And I didn't record this boring part. It's not all done yet, because those two impellers have to turn at the same speed. So now the gears come in play. Before we start working with those gears, let's speak about today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is all in one platform to create a beautiful website with minimum effort. It doesn't matter are you a professional website builder or if you don't have any clue how to create a website, because it's so simple, everybody can use this. Building a website with Squarespace isn't some heavy scripting, you basically add things, remove things, rename stuff and move things around. Squarespace have a lot of powerful features and tools. For example, now you can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. Manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights. All on one easy to use platform. Also you can create an online store. It doesn't matter do you want to sell digital or physical things. Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Or present your work using Squarespace professional portfolio designs. Display project in customizable galleries and add password protected pages to share private work with your clients. Head to squarespace.com slash let's print to save 10% off from your first purchase of a website or domain using code let's print. But now let's continue with the water bump. Gears are also printed with my Ender 3 S1 Pro and for material I use also PLA. I say this all the time but use raft when you 3D print gears. To those gears I also attached rigid flange coupling and then I attached those to the shafts. Between the gears and shaft seals I also added two washers. Now I realize that I made my life unnecessarily hard. So now the water pump is ready and everything looks to work as it should. By the way, if you haven't seen my previous video, there was design flaw that I fixed with the hot glue gun. This version still has this because I just didn't have time to fix this. And this is because I completely addicted to the Leech of Legends. I'm playing this stupid game legit whole day and I don't even find time to eat. And my only food yesterday was one ice cream. And it turned out this ice cream was for my little sister. It's weird because I don't even have a little sister. But this is what my mom told me after she banned me from the computer for two days. I checked Estonian law because in my mind she is not allowed to do this because I'm 25. But I didn't find answer so after two days I didn't give a shit anymore because I was back playing Leech of Legends. And that's why I had to use again glue gun to fill this cap otherwise this will leak rapidly. I also printed some mounts to connect this pump with my 4 motor gearbox and now it's finally time to go outside and test this for the very first time. Last time I hold this in water by myself but this time I wanna be as far as possible. So the water pump is halfly submerged, also the gears are in water. This is not ideal but this is how it is today. 
Power I will take from the car battery and it's time to start rocking. This time it works again really well. I cannot say it performed better than the last one, because those gears are in water there is a big efficiency loss. It's pretty obvious to see when the water level is below the gears, the pump starts working way better instantly. Just for side note, this spot where the water lands on the ground, I measured this, this is 8 to 9 meters from the water pump. But anyway, I call this project success because I don't see any reason why not to. By the way, the summer is over and if you are sick of watching water bombs already, because I've built those whole summer, then lucky news for you, there is only last one coming in the next video. Then the season of water bombs is over and I start pulling other stuff. Big thank you for watching this video and see you guys really soon. Bye.